Okay, so it came in pretty late. Um, there's a whole kind of story behind it. Why is this here? Why was that there? It was on the top of my thing, where I have the little knife, the little switchblade knife thing. Which, there we go. That's right, because I don't have the little pop figures that came with that Batman animated thing. So, this was USPS, number one which I find to be very weird, USPS. Uh, it's, it says, shipped from, and I, I saw it, I remember I was seeing it, that was Amazon LLC Filament Center, meaning it was Amazon, so I'd be by a prime truck. Which is weird is that the mail, the mail wasn't attached to it, though. Um, again, you want to be easy doing this because you don't know where the book is, the omnibus in this case, is, and then where it ends. I thought there was my ultimate dimension. I don't know. It was a bit late, too. And oh, yeah, it still says um, arriving today by 9 p.m., even though it just shipped. But yeah, I don't I don't like USPS. Um, not, just because, not just because of the memes. See, I don't want to be too rough on it. Why is this? Why do they use, like, super, super glue tape? Here, I'm going this way. Here we go. Uh, see it. And there's nothing attached to it, so it's a good thing that I just did what I just did. Pretty heavy one, another omnibus, and that is the Doom Patrol omnibus. Now I did put this one, the first book, not like the, not, not this obviously, but the first volume. They actually call it book, because there's a volume which is six, issues like this guy right here it's six issues and there's a bigger book which is like which is like the complete collections that i have of that deadpool series of the daniel wade run and there's four of those so it's like one of those um i, I interloaned that into the interloan library before and but they didn't have volume two so I gotta get this out they didn't have volume two so it was like or three, so I was like, yeah, might as well just get it. Um, there was a couple other things I could have gotten, but this is the one I really wanted. And it's Grant Morrison. And I, I did I did like Animal Man. In fact, I have one to go back to it, and this is this came out around the time as Animal Man did. And I've read the first, because the first volume um, was on Prime Reading. The book has more issues than the thingy, obviously the volume. And I, and I remember really liking it. It's definitely zany. Um, and I also solicited the, solicited, solicited the series on the HBO series for Angel Loans. Um, I can get this out. It's impossible to get out. I think it takes inspiration. I want to say it takes inspiration from this one. This is really the only good one, too. Uh, I do want to get the Silver Age one. I've heard that one's well, I got a four out of five on Goodreads, so it seems to be worth check. Seems to be one that's worth checking out. But this one is the one that everyone is like, "You got to read this. This is like must have." I was like, "Fine, I'll get it." It was a bit pricey too. So this collects. I'm not gonna look at it. I'm pretty sure I'm right about this. Nineteen to sixty-three in Doom Patrol Special Number One. Let's see. Also features a special section of Morrison's never before seen character character designs and conceptual art for the series. Wow, that was worth the hundred and thirty dollar price tag. And this is this is as big as like a Marvel omnibus, so it'd be hundred twenty five. At least with that fifteen hundred page book, that was you know fifteen hundred pages. Now I heard this is normal to hear that to that. Bent thingy. Um, got a table of contents here. Nice. Oh my god, it's four pages of it. It's awesome. Wow, well, got a lot of concept art. It's almost all, it's like almost 100 pages worth of it. Yep, 19 to 63, and I'm pretty sure that's doing special. Shift it the way I usually do it. Let's do that. Um, so I've heard that there's a special way to open an omnibus, like you're supposed to do, like, page by page. 
so the thing doesn't break. Not the thing doesn't break, so the thing doesn't bend and all that. Um, you don't really have to do that. If you if you actually care, if you actually care. If you really really care about that, I was right. 1963 and June special number one. If you really care about that, then fine. But like, I've never knock on wood, never had a problem with that. Um, and the An Animal Man one I've, was the one I've read through, and it's a used book from the library, and I've had no problems with that either. It's just sometimes, like, the binding, like, up here, like, if you start from here, it'll bend that way. Which it kind of is bending that way, but not really. Um, I don't think you have to worry about that. It looks like a curved spine. I don't think so. And it's, oh, it's to the, uh, still I want to do this. Nice. Almost no, uh, sound when I do that. Yeah, 150. Oh yeah, and under the under, under the dust uh, under the dust jacket. You always, always, always. I will admit he had some very good pointers. It was near mint condition. The guy I follow, and the guy who's um, one of the two. The other one's gem mint collectibles. But they're both huge, huge fans of that shit graphic novels, cheap graphic novels place. The only reason why I hate them is just because of their you know because of the pandemic. They're a lot slower. I, I get why they are. I'm, I'm, I'm just like, I'm just kind of annoyed, you know? And the shipping. The shipping is also something. It's kind of like, why would I go to a place? Why, why would I go to the place, shop at a place? Number one, that I don't trust. Number two, I don't, you know, I don't know, so I don't trust them. But number two, um, that's going to take forever, because it's like at least four to 14 days if you're lucky. And, th and third, I got to pay for extra shipping. Amazon is free shipping on almost all their items. And at least now, I mean, they weren't before, but for the most part, they are one to two day shipping. This guy was two day, but I, I got him pretty late um, Tuesday night. So, ha, huh, Tuesday night, that's an actual person's name. But I spell it like night, like a night in shiny, shiny armor. And this is how, this is how it looks under the, under the desk jacket. Anyway, I, I, I just love this stutter. So, um,. I think that's it. And then you, you want to... I'm sorry for the yelling down there. They just can't apparently text, just text each other. Um, what I like to do is I, I read it without the dust jacket. I, I take the dust jacket off and I'm reading it. Anything hardcover that has a dust jacket, I always, always, always take the dust, dust, jacket, dust, dust, jacket, dust jacket off. The only thing I don't do that for is library books. That's the only exception. Because it's library book, and they kind of don't want you taking that off. Even though I do sometimes do that. I haven't been caught yet. Yeah, like, they don't care. Um, so pretty good omnibus. Um, it has it's all of Grant Morrison's Doom Patrol run. Nineteen again, nineteen to sixty-three, and the first Doom special. Now the first eighteen issues are collected in, in the Bronze Age omnibus. That's a pretty. It's a pretty pricey book. It's, it's cheaper than the other one. That's the other two are. But um, I didn't want to get it. I want to get this. I didn't have it in Angel Loaned. And I didn't get the best reviews either. And I'm not a huge fan of Silver Age, but I do like Silver Age DC. But even then, I'm like, eh. I don't know. I kind of feel like for Doom Patrol, I should just stick with this one. That's about it. Uh, tomorrow we'll get. I'll get. I'll do a reading reading recommendation. I'm almost done with this Champions book that I showed. To for example of the. Um, you know, the book one thing, and the volume one. Uh, then, I, I really want to try and get a, um, an omnibus. Hell, I may, I may just upload a, how I read it, a Marvel omnibus. I mean, Marvel omnibus, not, spe not specifically Marvel omnibus. How I read my omnibus, this, 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 is Because you don't have to have it on the table. I read it on my bed, and yeah, it's a little cumbersome, but. I mean, obviously, take this off first. I want to do that for the other one. Kind of can't do that now. Um, I've been I've been buying a lot of omnibuses recently. That's a great idea. I, li I literally ran down when I when it finally came in because it took forever. It took fucking forever because it was stupid USP USP USPS, which I hate by the way. If only because if they if they deliver the mail. 
the odds aren't great that they're not coming again. So I, I was going down when I got the mail. I didn't get the mail because it wasn't there. But when I was going down, I was like, shit, don't be in, 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 don't be in. Don't be in, don't be in. And then, thank God it wasn't in. I don't know why I did that. I don't know if I accidentally hit it or whatnot, but I feel like it didn't. But, um, I got it. I'm happy. I'm not, I'm like, I'm like, I'm gonna read it right away anyways. I did want to get into that indiv- indiv- in, in, I keep calling it Indivisibles. I don't know why, but that Invisibles Omnibus. It's a little bendy. A little crease. I don't know if you can see it. That's why I like getting hard covers better more than uh, soft covers sometimes, especially for Amazon, because I'm not as worried about the condition that it's going to come in. Because hard covers, are, hard covers, um, because you know, they have their hard covers, um, they're a lot easier to, uh, they're a lot harder to get, to get it harder to get it, um, to, you know, with shipping, it's a lot harder to get it to be bad condition. Chunk. I think this should have been 125. DC, well, they're good with most of their things price-wise. Um, sometimes they do drop the ball completely, and it makes no sense why they need to have a $150 omnibus. It looks no different than a Marvel omnibus, and why is this taking forever to get back on? What the hell? It's weird. I almost got a Daredevil omnibus that was like the first 41 issues, like Silver Age. Because I did, when I was reading that uh, Stan Lee Visionaries book, I did really like those uh, Daredevil issues. But I think, I think like the one that's, it was issue 64, that was later on, which, which would make sense. That was later on in the series than the other one. Which was conveniently his first, the, the earlier one was conveniently his first appearance um, with his, you know, his current red suit. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end this video. It's taking forever to do. It's 12 minutes, and I, the unboxing was half of that, even if half, you know, even half that. All right, the end.